So hey, let's go into uh, a Paul topic, quantum. Paul, you've been you did two AI, and you are the the quantum guy uh, as well. But you know what's going on here? I mean, I, I visited um, IBM's uh, first North American quantum data center in Poughkeepsie, New York, uh, earlier uh, uh, this year, and looks like they're they're scaling out. Hey, it's it's good news for quantum. I mean, we're starting to. Uh move our data centers all over the world. And uh, IBM, believe it or not, that's uh, the, the one, the new one they're establishing in Europe, in uh, Germany, is the uh, second, it's only a second data center. Poughkeepsie is the first one, so. Cool. So we're moving out. I mean, it's uh, good news for quantum, and I think uh, quantum's growing. So uh, Europe has got some pretty sophisticated quantum users over there. So this is gonna give them another option. Um, they're going to, uh, Put in, uh, it'll be uh, quantum machines with uh, over 100 qubits. So they're not going to put any small things in. It'll be from the Eagle processor and up. So it'll be it'll be interesting to uh, just to see how that goes. Uh, uh, the uh, that'll be the European cloud region too. So IBM's got two two cloud regions now. So yeah. So Paul, what's the benefit of having? Uh having a data, a quantum data center that's that's more co-located. Is, is this about data sovereignty? Is this about response time? Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's all, it's all of the above. Uh, you know, Europe has got some different standards than, than the United States has, and a lot of different regulations than we do, so this is an opportunity to kind of differentiate uh, between the two data centers. Um, and, um, there's a lot of classes, uh, university classes over in Europe too. That, uh, according to IBM, there's like a, a million learners in Europe that uh, they've got uh, advanced quantum skills uh, through workshops and digital learning and things like that that have been sponsored by IBM. So this provides a local presence. So I think it's good news. 